Do you remember the tunes that defined a decade, echoing through time with their catchy melodies? Can you still hum along to these unforgettable 70s hits that became instant classics? The 1970s gifted us with a treasure trove of one-hit wonders, songs that etched themselves into our hearts and memories, despite their artists fading from the limelight after just one chart-topping hit. These melodies captured the essence of an era, blending disco beats, soulful rhythms, and rock and roll energy into musical masterpieces. Join us as we revisit 20 unforgettable 70s one-hit wonder songs you have to remember. Number 20. Play That Funky Music by Wild Cherry, 1976 Play That Funky Music by Wild Cherry is a disco funk song that made a big impact on music history. Originally, Wild Cherry was a rock cover band facing challenges during the disco era when dance music was dominating. Rob Parisi, the band's lead singer, got the idea for the song when a club patron challenged them to play something funky. In just five minutes, Parisi wrote the song, reflecting on the band's struggle to adapt to changing musical trends. Released in April 1976, Play That Funky Music quickly became popular with its mix of funk, rock, and disco, reaching number one on the Billboard Hot 100 by September 1976, and also topping the Billboard Hot Soul Singles chart. It became Wild Cherry's only top 40 hit in the U.S., a notable achievement during their transition to a new genre. The song's success continued over time, selling over 2.5 million copies in the U.S. alone and earning a platinum certification. Number 19. Spirit in the Sky by Norman Greenbaum, 1970 Norman Greenbaum, an American singer-songwriter, wrote and recorded this memorable song in late 1969. Despite being Jewish himself, the song is filled with religious references to Jesus. Greenbaum found inspiration while watching Porter Wagoner perform a gospel tune on TV, sparking his own creative impulse. In just 15 minutes, he crafted what would become his gospel-infused anthem. Released as a single in early 1970, the song quickly climbed to number three on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100, where it remained for 15 weeks. Initially met with hesitation due to its unconventional lyrics and style, Spirit in the Sky became a global sensation upon its release, reaching number one in the UK, Australia, and Canada. It sold an impressive two million copies in the US alone, overshadowing Greenbaum's subsequent musical endeavors. Number 18. Afternoon Delight by Starland Vocal Band, 1976 in the summer of 76, a catchy tune by Starland Vocal Band captivated listeners worldwide. Starland Vocal Band, an American pop folk group, created this song with lyrics penned by Bill Danoff, inspired during a visit to Clyde's restaurant in Georgetown, Washington, D.C. The song, titled from the restaurant's happy hour menu, became an ode to daytime romance. Interestingly, its creation overlapped with a poignant personal moment for Bill Danoff, his wife, Taffy Danoff was undergoing surgery for cervical cancer at the time. Released in April 1976, the song Afternoon Delight quickly climbed the charts, reaching number one and sparking controversy due to its openly suggestive theme about afternoon intimacy. Despite this, its catchy melody, harmonious vocals, and playful lyrics made it a global hit, earning a gold record in the US and charting in Australia, the Netherlands, and the UK. Number 17. In the Summertime by Mungo Jerry 1970. During the 1970s, Mungo Jerry, a British rock band led by singer-songwriter Ray Dorset, introduced a song that quickly captured the essence of carefree summer days and leisurely nights. Originally seen as just another single, In the Summertime gained unexpected fame after a memorable performance at the Hollywood Music Festival in May 1970. Despite the audience's relaxed state, the band's unique blend of harmonicas, banjos, and infectious rhythms energized them, turning the song into an instant hit when it was released shortly before the festival. In the UK, it topped the charts for seven consecutive weeks and achieved similar success worldwide, reaching number one in 15 countries and peaking at number three on the Billboard Hot 100 in the US. With over 30 million copies sold globally, the song remains one of the highest selling singles ever, leaving an indelible mark on music history alongside legendary tracks like Bing Crosby's White Christmas and Elton John's Candle in the Wind. Number 16. Brandy, You're a Fine Girl by Looking Glass, 1972. In the 1970s, an American pop rock band spun a tale that captivated audiences around the world. Lead guitarist and co-vocalist Elliot Lurie crafted a narrative about a barmaid named Brandy, set in a bustling seaport where a hundred ships a day would dock. Lonely sailors would flirt with Brandy, but her heart belonged to a sailor who chose the sea over love, claiming his lady was the vast ocean itself. 
Although debunked, the urban myth that Brandy was based on a real-life spinster named Mary Ellis added to the song's mystique. Released in 1972, the song sailed to the top of both the Billboard Hot 100 and the Cash Box Top 100 charts. Its breezy melody, harmonious vocals, and nautical theme resonated deeply with listeners across the waves. The popularity of Brandy You're a Fine Girl even influenced baby naming trends, making Brandy a fashionable choice for American parents at the time. The Recording Industry Association of America certified Brandy Gold, having sold over 1 million copies. Number 15. The Night Chicago Died by Paper Lace, 1974 Released in 1974, this song became incredibly popular, topping charts around the world. It was crafted by British duo Paper Lace, consisting of Peter Callender and Mitch Murray. On the Billboard Hot 100, it soared to number one, reached third place in the UK, and peaked at number two in Canada, making it a standout among one-hit wonders. The song unfolds a gripping tale set in Prohibition-era Chicago, where gangsters like Al Capone held sway. It imagines a fierce shootout between Chicago police and members of Capone's syndicate, told from the perspective of a narrator haunted by his mother's anguish as she awaits news about her policeman husband caught in the crossfire. Interestingly, despite referencing the east side of Chicago, a place that doesn't exist geographically, the song draws its inspiration from gangster movies and the notorious St. Valentine's Day Massacre, though inaccurately portraying the actual events. Number 14. Seasons in the Sun by Terry Jacks, 1973 Originally a Belgian song by Jacques Brel titled Le Moribond, The Dying Man, Seasons in the Sun was translated into English by American singer-poet Rod McEwen. Terry Jacks, a Canadian singer, released his version in 1973 with alterations to McEwen's lyrics, which he later claimed as his own. The song became a global sensation, selling over 14 million copies worldwide and topping charts, including the Billboard Hot 100 in the US. Jacks' rendition reflects on a dying man's farewell to loved ones, touching on themes of childhood memories, friendships, and life's challenges. Despite its melancholic tone, the song concludes with a sense of peace. Jax drew inspiration for the lyrics from his friend Roger, who battled acute leukemia, infusing the song with heartfelt emotion. Number 13. Escape, the Pina Colada Song by Rupert Holmes, 1979 Released in 1979, this playful song was written and sung by Rupert Holmes, a British-American musician. It featured on his fifth album, Partners in Crime, as its leading track. Escape quickly became popular among listeners for its catchy storyline. The song tells a story through three verses and choruses. It introduces a man feeling bored with his current relationship and seeking excitement. He comes across a newspaper personal ad that catches his interest, especially mentioning a love for pina coladas, hence its nickname. Intrigued, he responds to the ad and plans to meet the woman at a bar called O'Malley's. In a surprising twist, he discovers that the woman he meets is actually his current partner. Instead of feeling deceived, they both realize they share similar desires and interests. Number 12. After the Lovin' by Engelbert Humperdinck 1976 In 1976, Engelbert Humperdinck, a renowned British singer known for his smooth vocals and charm, released a romantic ballad that left a lasting impression. Produced by Joel Diamond and Charlie Colello, and written by Alan Bernstein, the song struck a chord with audiences worldwide. Humperdinck, already famous for hits like Release Me and Quando Quando Quando, solidified his reputation with After the Lovin'. Its heartfelt lyrics and orchestral arrangement, featuring lush strings and gentle piano, captured the essence of love's aftermath, those quiet moments filled with lingering memories and settled emotions. The song's popularity soared, reaching number 8 on the Billboard Hot 100 and topping charts in Canada and New Zealand. Achieving gold status, it became a timeless classic and earned Engelbert a Grammy nomination for his album that shared its name. Number 11. Brother Louis by Stories, 1973 In 1973, Stories, an American rock band from New York City, gained sudden fame with a song that fused rock and pop into a catchy, funky rhythm. The track, resonating with its listeners, tells a bold story of interracial love, tackling the racial tensions of its time head-on as it portrays a white man's romance with a black woman, despite parental disapproval. Despite not achieving long-term fame, the song Brother Louis soared up the charts, peaking at number 7 on the UK singles chart and reaching the top 20 in the US. Its soulful vocals and rock instrumentation struck a chord with many, ensuring its enduring legacy through covers by other artists like Hot Chocolate, who originally wrote it, keeping alive the spirit of the 1970s. Number 10. Don't Pull Your Love by Hamilton, Joe Frank, and Reynolds, 1971 A popular tune from the 1970s, 
Hamilton, Joe Frank, and Reynolds, a trio from Los Angeles, gained fame with this catchy pop rock hit, comprising Don Hamilton, Joe Frank Carallo, and Tommy Reynolds. The band initially toured with the T-Bones before striking out on their own. Don't Pull Your Love stands out for its upbeat melody and smooth harmonies, blending rock and easy listening vibes seamlessly. Released in 1971, the song soared to number four on the Billboard Hot 100 chart and sold over a million copies, marking it as a commercial triumph. Even now, the song remains a staple on classic radio stations, cherished for its timeless appeal and its ability to evoke the essence of 1970s pop rock music. Number 9. Pop Music by M, 1979 this song, Pop Music by M, led by English musician Robin Scott, made a significant impact on the late 70s music scene. Initially lesser known, M gained fame through this single, which combined diverse musical styles according to Scott's vision. The track was notably ahead of its time, blending electronic beats, catchy hooks, and memorable melodies that resonated with listeners. Its pioneering use of synthesizers marked a revolutionary shift in sound. Released in 1979, Pop music swiftly climbed the charts, peaking at number two in the UK singles chart in May and reaching number one on the US Billboard Hot 100 in November. The accompanying music video, directed by Brian Grant, featured Robin Scott as a DJ amidst a futuristic setting, complemented by robot models and backup vocals from Scott's wife, Bridget Novick. Number eight, Love Grows, Where My Rosemary Goes, by Edison Lighthouse, 1970. Love Grows, Where My Rosemary Goes by Edison Lighthouse is a beloved song from the 1970s, known for its uplifting vibes and catchy tunes. Edison Lighthouse, a British pop group formed specifically to record this hit, was more of a studio project than a traditional band. Tony Burroughs, a well-known session singer, lent his vocals to the track, adding to its charm. The song's cheerful melody, accompanied by jangly guitars and harmonious vocals, captured the essence of feel-good pop music of its time. It quickly soared up the charts, reaching the number one spot in the UK and peaking at number five on the Billboard Hot 100 in the US. The title, referencing the herb Rosemary, reflecting its theme of celebrating the innocence and happiness of falling in love. Number seven, Kung Fu Fighting by Carl Douglas, 1974. In the 1970s, Carl Douglas, originally from Jamaica but based in Britain, created this hugely popular song. Known for its upbeat tempo and catchy melody, this track quickly became a favorite worldwide. Released in 1974, it combines disco influences with a distinctive flute sound inspired by Chinese music. This song's success was remarkable, topping both the UK singles chart and the US Billboard Hot 100 and selling an impressive 11 million copies globally. Originally intended as a B-side, its popularity in dance clubs prompted a switch to the A-side. Robin Blanche Flower of Pi Records recognized this potential early on, ensuring its rise to chart-topping glory. Number 6. My Sharona by The Knack, 1979 Released in 1979 by the American rock band The Knack, this iconic one-hit wonder penned by Burton Avier and Doug Feger continues to resonate today. Figure's energetic vocals and an infectious guitar riff propelled the song to the top of the charts, where it held the number one spot on the Billboard Hot 100 for an impressive six weeks. Capitol Records hailed it as their fastest gold status debut single since the Beatles' I Want to Hold Your Hand in 1964, with over one million copies sold and earning gold certifications from the RIAA. Inspired by Figure's romance with 17-year-old Sharona Alperin, the song blends 1960s influences with a distinctive drum beat by Bruce Gary, ensuring its enduring popularity, selling over 10 million copies by 2010. Number 5. Wildfire by Michael Murphy, 1975 Wildfire is a hauntingly beautiful ballad released in February 1975 by Michael Martin Murphy. Written by Murphy and Larry Kanzler, the song tells a poignant love story between a cowboy and his horse, Wildfire. Murphy's heartfelt vocals and gentle acoustic guitar set an ethereal tone, drawing listeners into the melancholic narrative of longing and loss. The song resonated deeply with audiences, reaching number two on the Cashbox chart and number three on the Billboard Hot 100 by June 1975. Its emotional impact crossed genres, topping the Billboard Adult Contemporary chart as well. Recognized for its lasting influence, Wildfire earned platinum certification from the RIAA, selling over two million copies in the US. Number four. Love Roller Coaster by Ohio Players, 1975. Love Roller Coaster by the Ohio Players is a standout song from the 1970s music era, celebrated for its infectious groove and unique sound. Originating from Dayton, Ohio, the Ohio Players were renowned for their mastery of funk music. The band, 
comprising talented musicians like William Beck, Leroy Bonner, and others, crafted a distinctive style characterized by tight horn arrangements, soulful vocals, and memorable bass lines. Love Roller Coaster, released in 1975 as part of their album Honey, quickly soared up the charts. It reached the number one spot on the Billboard Hot 100 in January 1976 and gained popularity across borders, peaking at number two in Canada. Its success culminated in gold certification by the RIAA, solidifying its status as a timeless funk classic. Number three, Convoy by C.W. McCall, 1975. Convoy, a 1975 song by C.W. McCall, became an unexpected hit celebrating trucker culture. The song, narrated in a twangy voice using CB radio jargon, tells the fictional tale of a convoy of big rigs traveling coast to coast across the United States. This convoy rebels against the 55 miles per hour speed limit and other regulations imposed during the 1973 oil crisis. Lines like, we tore up all our swindle sheets and left them sitting on the scales, illustrates their defiance of authority. The chorus boldly declares, we just ain't a gonna go pay no toll. Convoy, top both the country and pop charts in the US, also finding success in Canada and the UK. It resonated with the CB radio craze of its time and recently gained renewed attention during the 2022 Freedom Convoy. Number two, I Can Help by Billy Swan, 1974. I Can Help by Billy Swan was a popular song in the 1970s that crossed over into both country and pop music genres. Written and sung by Swan himself, it quickly became a standout hit, reaching number one on the Billboard Hot 100 and the Hot Country Singles chart by the end of 1974. Known for its upbeat melody and memorable lyrics, the song resonated with a wide audience. Before his solo success, Billy Swan had worked as a session musician and songwriter, showcasing his versatile talents. I Can Help remains Swan's most notable chart topper, demonstrating his ability to craft music that was both catchy and heartfelt. Beyond the United States, the song also gained popularity in Canada, topping the RPM Country Tracks chart. Number 1. Torn Between Two Lovers by Mary McGregor, 1976 Torn Between Two Lovers by Mary McGregor, released in 1976, has a fascinating origin and storyline. Written by Peter Yarrow of the folk group Peter, Paul, and Mary, along with Philip Jarrell, the song was initially intended for a male vocalist, inspired by Boris Pasternak's novel Dr. Zivago, which portrays a man torn between two women. The song delves into the emotional turmoil of love. Recorded at Muscle Show's Sound Studio, Mary McGregor's rendition in 1976 captured the complexities of romantic conflict, the song resonated deeply with audiences, topping the U.S. pop chart in February 1977 and reaching number three on the country charts. McGregor's debut album, titled after the song, featured it prominently. The 1970s gifted us with unforgettable one-hit wonders that continued to resonate decades later. From soulful ballads to upbeat anthems, these songs captured a moment in time. Which of these timeless tunes is your favorite? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more nostalgic music content.